when two people agree to marry, the terms and conditions are very different to the ones under which sometime later they decide to divorce. And so there's an accumulation of assets, shared debts, all kinds of things. So the question is rather that given that you've got this long history together and you've got this, that is it, is it a reasonable thing to, um, to leave? For me personally, I felt like I was suddenly, it was like I woke up to find out uh, my, 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 the love of my life has been cheating on me or something, or that, you know, that, that, that I, I'm living now with a stranger, that I didn't understand the people I was living with. I don't feel as much despair as I did a year ago, but I don't feel, I don't really feel like I'm any clearer on any single aspect of this process. It made something really unpleasant happen. Um, that 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 got rid of the party divisions so it just it just it feels like it's just it's just destruction without uh without any um without anything to offer so there's no sense of reconstruction so i don't mind the idea i'm not against the idea of separation um, it wouldn't make me happy, though, because it seems um, inconceivable to me that um, I could have a son who didn't have the right to live in the country where I live and who was educated in that country. That strikes me as just too too impossible to imagine. Um, it just does feel like we've opened... Yeah, whatever metaphor you want to use, Pandora's box, a can of worms, um, and it's it's out there now, and <laughs> and I don't, and it's not going to end at any time soon. So things things may just really start to fundamentally crumble, and again, that's not necessarily a bad thing because sometimes things do need to come apart for them to come back together. But you get you get now a division that has no platform. You have a division that doesn't um, align with any particular ideology or any um, any belief in how we do things here. I can't even get past that people don't understand what that means. Like, how is he going to be able to leave the country and come back in and be able to say he has the right to stay? Where is this proof going to be? Is it going to be a visa? Is it going to be an identity card? Is it going to be entirely computational? Is this going to be on a computer somewhere like when you go to Australia or whatever? How is this actually going to happen? Because it really matters. And, and what does he have to show when he goes to the hospital or whatever? Like, you know, he was six when he came here. What is, what's going to, I don't, I still don't know what this is going to involve. So it was a huge, huge disappointment. I felt really broken hearted. And and then I, I just I just feel like it kind of packaged up in one term, um, a weapon, um, that has just as far as I can see produced a lot of destruction, and I don't see where the reconstruction is coming in. I don't see what's being brought together, and I don't see I don't see any any direction in which one could feel like, okay, well, this isn't what I want, but, but I've, it'll be okay in the end.